All right, so <clears throat> I finally made it to the top. It took me an hour, 17 minutes. It was uh, quite a hike. I'll give you a view of what what it looks like from up here. That's one side. And even though it's a beautiful view, you can see the water. You can see, you know, the nice sides of the mountain. There's still a lot of damage done by, by us, by man. A lot of trash. A lot of uh, tagging going on. People, people think it's cool to to write their names on on Mother Nature because they think everybody knows who they are. We have these beautiful plants, and on the other side, we have. Chimbote. <clears throat> we have the city. That down there is the church. I don't know if you can see it. And um, that over there is Isla Blanca. That over there is port where every day they go out and get fish have a great view of the of the whole city it's great being up here i like it it's nice and peaceful it's nice to get away from from the city, it's nice to get away from the noise, from the people. Um, it was tiring. It was. I even got a little. I got a little battle scar, but it just comes with the territory, I guess. Um, I encourage everybody, if you're coming to Chimbote or if you're near Chimbote, you want to do something outdoors. Um, there's not really much to do in Chimbote. It's not a very tourist city. Um, it's very much just walking around, getting something to eat, things like that. Uh, there are efforts to try to make this a more tourist-oriented city. And you could see that because they're starting to do a lot of cleaning up and a lot of... Um, a lot of projects that will eventually make the city able to be a tourist based city. But for now there's not really much, much that will attract a tourist. So one of the things that there is to do is, is come up here and just kind of be in silence and in peace for a little bit. So thank you very much for watching.